we're driving in the car very very early in the morning and we're on our way to Crowpatrick we're going to do a darkness into light to Crowpatrick for some reason unbeknownst to ourselves we decided to get up early and do this so, <laughs> so we're here at the visitor we're here at the uh, car park and uh, as you can see there's no cars <laughs> say hello Fatty <laughs> See, there's no cars, we're the only two lunatics here. Uh, can't really see anything, the mountain's very, very dark. So, we've got our head torches, and uh, we've got our warm clothes, gloves, and we're ready to rock and roll. Hopefully, get up there before the sun rise. And um, yeah, uh, looking forward to it. Really don't know what we're going to expect. There might be a cloud on top of the mountain, there might not be a cloud on top of the mountain, but fingers crossed, there won't be anything. Okay, so. So as you can see here behind me, it's the uh, first station. Uh, Catholic Catholicism, of course, has uh, put its uh, imprint on this mountain as it is a pilgrimage site. But of course, that wasn't always the case. This mountain has been climbed for thousands of years by pagan worshippers under the god of uh, fertility so oh something very very interesting to consider the next time you're climbing up pro patrick So, uh, taking a quick water break, fairly, <laughs> fairly breathing heavily, very fatty, <laughs> fairly breathing heavily. Um, we have the last mountain we did was our that was uh, just over a month ago. So, I've had one hike, bear that, a Norman Lawn Mountain one, and it uh, catches up on you. Just remember, this is a tricky enough mountain. Don't be thinking it's a hill when you're coming up here. in the distance uh, dawn, dawn looks like it's gonna just about beat us but we managed to get to the correct at the right side of the reek um, I suppose be careful when trusting Paddy to decide the time when you're <laughs> going to start something anyway <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah listen we've did, we passed the second stage um, uh, of the pilgrimage um, just one interesting fact to point out that the last Sunday of every July, uh, we have something called Reek Sunday, uh, and you can get up to 40,000 people climbing this mountain during the day, so fairly epic enough. Yeah, so the camera just switched off there, but uh, basically, yeah, it was literally clear sky, totally clear, and then all of a sudden, we just saw it clouding up a bit on the top and next thing bang as you can hear and as you can see just be really really careful when you're coming up on these mountains because it can turn in a matter of seconds i reckon the, the, it's, it's got a lot brighter now uh, it's still a bit cloudy still a bit windy uh, it seems to be clearing but we're not too sure whether it's just getting brighter or it's actually starting to clear uh, we took shelter here. I guess uh, I think they're kind of old toilets. So uh, listen, necessity, necessity. Um, we're kind of still contemplating whether to continue. Um, if it doesn't improve and kind of gets worse a bit, we'll just have to call it a day and 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 mark it down as a as an unfortunate defeat. But a, but a lesson all the same. Uh, so the rain seems to have cleared uh, You know, you just got to have that little bit of resistance. I suppose we are super lucky that we had the shelter down there um, <clears throat> We're gonna make another bush for it. It seems to be clearing quite a bit uh, <laughs> 
we were checking all the weather reports it was had nothing about a shower of rain but uh yeah it just shows you just really be careful um because you never know like when it's gonna strike um so just to just be careful be 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 prepared um the it's starting to clear uh you see the lake out there in the distance the top is starting to come we've got a couple of blue skies up in the air up in the sky and we're going for our final ascent So I mentioned before about this being a pagan mountain and the goddess or the god of fertility. Well it's easy enough to see why, why, why people thought that because the mountain itself when you look across the bay actually looks like a pregnant woman lying down. And if you want to see the picture check out my Facebook page and the, the the wall art on my Facebook page because I've taken a picture with the sun sitting behind it. Um, but yeah, pagan god known as what, Paddy? Crom. yeah, Crom. Also the name of, 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 of Paddy's dog. The dark crooked god. Um, also Norse as well, I believe, as, as, as Paddy has told me. Um, but yeah, this mountain, so much history behind it. A place of worship for so many people from all over Ireland. So we're just taking a bit of a breather. Paddy, being the sensible diabetic, testing himself before we just reach the top. Uh, but just wanted to show you the sun is starting to appear uh, just behind the clouds there. And uh, we're nearly at the top. As you can see, it's uh, just an incredibly beautiful morning. Blue skies. Uh, really looking forward to showing you the top and the views. Um, I'm not seeing them myself uh, in, in the morning, but just uh, there's something serenely, beautifully peaceful up here. No people, just us two. And uh, yeah, it's just incredible. So, reached the top just after sunrise, got caught in that shower, um, but listen, it is what it is. As you can see, we have the Crow Patrick little monument there with the mail flags. Fan mail! <laughs> and uh, yeah, here we are, the church. Uh, sorry, the church. And uh, I don't know, there's just something of wonder. Oh, it's just the peace, the serenity, the stillness, the, the freshness of the morning. Um, I've, not, I've not done too many morning hikes, but I tell you what, I'll be doing a hell of a lot more. years ago 
uh, this mountain was going to be mined for gold because there's meant to be uh, uh, estimated 300 million worth of gold in it. Uh, the people of the town and Mayo band together to protest against it and they won thankfully because the real gold of this place is this you see before you this is worth so much more than people destroying this mountain to make mines to get to get gold <coughs> westport has become a hub a melting pot if you will of sports activities of outdoor sports activities and really if this did become a mine and you couldn't really climb you couldn't really hike and what if it didn't become that i'm wondering would i be standing here today talking to you it just leaves a lot to think of the small decisions the bigger decisions and the ramifications for the future So we're just starting our descent now again we're after leaving. We kind of, as Paddy said, we didn't we didn't really want to leave. Um, slightly heavy heart, kind of coming down, leaving. Just this, just there's just so much to take in, so much to witness, experience, so much serenity, so much peace of mind. Um, if you get chance, and it's good weather. This is a special, special mountain, and <laughs> I'm basically speechless how incredible this experience has actually been. Car parks inside, it's getting closer and closer. I still think our car is the only car that's actually in the car park. Nobody's decided to come up on this beautiful morning. A uh, couple of light showers, but uh, as you can see, great view of uh, the islands from here. Uh, stunning, stunning view. Um, and of course, uh, my ancestral home, home of the Quinns, in Ishnikelu. back at the shrine back to where we started and uh, no no it's been a good hike uh, well not just good hike it's been a, a absolutely incredible hike the views at the top were so stunningly worth it uh, Paddy's picked up a bit of a knee injury poor Paddy dodgy, dodgy knees yeah exactly a uh, bit of strength a bit, bit, bit of strength in the old knees as I told you before like a lot of people think that this mountain is just a, a cakewalk. It's it's it can be tough going, especially if you're not especially if you're not that trained for it. <laughs> 